hi everyone welcome back to episode 26 of the pick up stitches podcast my name is leoni and today is the 24th of july so yeah <laughs> i don't have too much to show and tell i do have one finished object and three whips that i would like to show some progress on today and then quite a few yarny gossips so let's get into it the first project that i want to show you my finished object is my sock week socks so there we go sock week ended last sunday and it was hosted by Natalie from Natty Natty. She does it every year. And this was my first year participating. So, yeah, I decided eventually on doing vanilla socks on 9 inch circulars. And I've got them on my Kaiser sock lockers. As you can see here. And this yarn that I used is also the Kaiser base yarn from naughty habit and that is a 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon blend yeah this particular sock set was a gift from bev at bev crafts so yeah i'm happy it was my first official nine inch circular socks i did it cuff down with a fish lips kiss heel and this is the neatest i've seen my heels come out thus far so i am super happy and now that i've shown you i can start wearing it yeah then on to whips the first whip that i would like to share just get rid of that is staying in my little twisted project bag that i bought at the knit and crochet in public day and it's the meraki blanket so this is was a mystery cow that was hosted by moya yarn there we go so there's the progress keeper of three weeks ago so i only did like five rows yes <laughs> i only did five rows this week um and to be honest to tell you why i don't know what did i do i honestly have no idea but my brain was not completely itself this week so i took the project up again and when I looked at the pattern, for some reason it was on row 100. And I just started doing what row 100 told me to do. In set color way and everything. And almost at the end of row 100, I decided let me just check. Because something, I, I, I got a feeling. And I realized my pattern was just open on the wrong page. <laughs> so I ripped it out. And I started with row 75 with the color of row 100, almost at the end again of row 75. I realized, let me just double check if I've got the right color here. I did not have the correct color. So I ripped it out again. And finally, I got the right color in the right row. That's this section here, you can see, and got that done eventually. So, fortunately for me, we are onto the decreases. So, there's the corner. This is the corner. We are now starting the decreases again of this blanket. So, I am very far behind, but it's okay. I am going to catch up now. So this is an awesome, awesome project. I'm really enjoying it. So this yarn was a kit that I bought from Moya. 
and the color selection or a color scheme the name was Cornish Seaside and it's quite a variety of these purples and beiges and browns and blues and so on of the 100% double knit cotton yarn from Moya here we go and yeah I have been using my 3.5 millimeter clover crochet hook so I'm hoping to show some awesome progress next week cool let's put this one away and then the next work that I want to share I've put it for now in my Naughty Habit project bag and it's the Scrapper Cow so I think this is really the last week you guys will see this as a whip my friend and I Mariette from the Boerfrau went to a brioche knitting class at the Yarny Corner already yeah it's three weeks ago already um, the class was presented by Juanita Meer from Juan Nets and the project that we started was the Screpa Cowl from Jennifer Shield Tollen um, that's JST Netwear Designs and this is how far I got so our progress keeper from Itchy Klein and that's where we were last week so I finished the straight brioche ribbing or I don't know what you call it and then if you guys can see just here I did the first branching so it's going to make some branches here now and yeah it was not um, easy to figure out how to do these branches but luckily the pattern had some great links to some awesome tutorials so I figured it out and I still need to do two more branches so yeah great um, the yarn that I'm using for this is a little bit of a mix and match I am using for this color and this one so this one is the main colorway it's a Esteriza yarn creations um, Clio soft base which is the 75% superwash merino 25% nylon we go and then the contrasting color is the candy floss from Naughty Habit this is their um, two ply merino linen base it's a relatively new base for Mincy but here we go and I am doing this on four millimeter net pro circular needles yeah I am super happy with this this has to be finished by next week that progress keeper moved so then the third whip that I want to share it's <laughs> not staying in a particular project bag I'm just using an old lunch box um, because this is now my walking and knitting project okay so those of you that's been around might remember I started a month oh, maybe even two months ago to do the my favorite adventure sweater pattern by um, Tristan from Dragonheart Yarn or Dragonheart Designs and the last time we saw this sweater was there by the progress keeper also itchy claim hat rider and yeah 
I am basically done with the third color here and going to start the fourth. So this pattern was designed for maybe advent calendars to use those mini skeins that people always get in advent calendars. Hence the name, my favorite adventure. And yeah, I have started it off with the last secret seven society that went out from Esteriza Yarn Creations and it was also their Clio base 75% superwash merino 25% nylon and then this main color is the Kaiso base from Naughty Habit so it's their 75% 25% blend and then yeah so this would be the first three that came in the Secret 7 Society. However, because it was only 7 mini skeins and you need 20, I've been fishing in all my minis. I have accumulated quite a few actually, I'm surprised, with all my sock boxes and mystery thingies and thingies or um, sock sets that I steal the minis from. <laughs> so... I've got a plan here. I think it's going to work. And yeah, I'm excited to get going on this again. So, um, this is my walking project. Because I like to, or I'm trying to get some steps in every day. And I'm trying to improve my fitness and not just sit the whole day. And that's the reason why it's on here, because of the nice handles <laughs> of this bag and yeah it's very nice and light still I don't it doesn't weigh me down and it's a little bit of a no-brainer knit especially since I am not entirely adhering to the pattern for these raglan increases I'm going to try doing my own thing here yeah? Something I can remember and that's easier to do while walking because the pattern has got quite a specific set of increases for the raglans. Um, I think that's part of what gives it that nice fit. But I don't have the brain capacity right now and I'm not carrying the, the pattern with me when I'm walking. So yeah. I hope this is not going to come back and bite me a little bit later on. So, fingers crossed. But I think I'll be able to, to make it work. Oh, what else I need to say? So, this is 4mm Chai Goo needles that I'm using. Let me twist this. I doubt. No, I'm not even going to try. Okay. So... This is a blend between Clio and Kaiser base yarns and I'm excited to keep going on this one again. So I'm sticking to my plan so far for um, trying to reduce the amount of whips that I have um, towards the end of this year. I should not be putting this away too far actually. Sorry. Uh, that's all of the, the whips that I wanted to show. I want to quickly do live, then acquisitions, and then that's it. First up, live. I passed all my exams and my subjects, so semester one, tick, done. Off to semester two now for my masters that I'm doing, and yeah, that's about it. I'm going to some events which you will hear of just now when we do yarny gossip, and um, work is still busy. I don't have much to say. Life is boring actually, so yeah, I just want to show you guys this. So, Friday afternoon, 
when I walked into the house, I found this yarn bath lying on the living room floor. My husband's dog stole my quarter to main skein soft box yarn and killed it. I don't know. Nothing seems broken. Everything looks intact. So I am going to try and salvage this. I don't know. I don't know. I was not that happy chappy <laughs> Friday evening, to be honest. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go over to acquisitions. It was sock box time on Friday. So because Mincy from Naughty Habit is going to visit her children in America in August, we got our sock club boxes a little bit earlier this quarter. And yeah, mine arrived on Friday. There is no way I was not opening it. No way. The first one I got was the masala and chili box. Okay, let's open this up. And let me show you all the goodies first. First off is an Oliven Bosch olive oil liquid soap sample and a blue spoons cookie yummy yummy we've got some pens uh, sorry for the noise so this one is the naughty sock club box Chili and masala. Oh goodness gracious me. There we go. There we go. That's beautiful. Um, I'm going to put that on my sock project bag. Then we've got a. I like this one. Not the habits. Die hard. <laughs> That's cute. And. There's a 50 rand gift voucher. <sighs> My second favorite thing in these boxes is a Itchy Klein stitch marker. There we go. And then the yarn, the yarn, the yarn, the yarn. This is what it looks like. So this is also in the Kaiso, the Masala and Chili colorway. Oh, I love it. So, so beautiful. Okay. And then there was a letter from Mincy. So thank you, Mincy. And then because I've got... FOMO and fear of missing out and I love pinks and purples and greys and so on. I decided that this quarter I'm also going to take another potpourri and cranberry box. My favourite colourway so far of all of them. So in this one it's a lot of the same stuff. It's a blue spoons cookie and the uh, Leuven Bosch liquid hand soap okay it's again a naughty habits die hard pin and i want to take this sock club box pin out because this one looks a little bit different from the chili masala so this is the potpourri there's a rose and some cranberries very very pretty Again, a 50 rand gift voucher and a Itchy Klein from Itchy Klein Stitch Marker. It does not want to 
do the stitch marker justice now. Sorry about that. And this is what it looks like. This is so beautiful. So, so far, this cranberry, pottery and cranberry colorways has been my favorite every month. So I'm very glad I decided to do this. Not every month, every quarter. I am very, very happy. Oh, I love it. Oh, it goes nicely with my purple and gray ensemble <laughs> today. So yeah, those are my two acquisitions. And then, it's Johnny Gossip. There is quite a few things I need to tell you guys. Um, let me just settle in here a bit. Okay. Let's start with some of the events. So first off, on the top of my list, is next Saturday, the 30th of July, is a busy day at the yard room. I'm just going to give you the one, if it, the one, hmm, Topic for the yarn room for the 30th now. So they are going to have a beginner crochet class. Then also on the 30th in Pretoria, the yarn tree is having another canteen bag class. That's part of Yulma Conradi's um, Tallinn series. So they're going to have another class on that. Then at the Little Yarn Croft, next week Saturday, there's a learning to make a sock class. And what else? Oh, also on the 30th. So, yeah, I'm going to go into detail just on next weekend a little bit just now. But also on the 30th is the Stukmark in Pretoria. So, the Stukmark, it's um, most of the time. It's Mincy from Naughty Habit that has a pop-up shop there, as well as um, Colors of Amalfi. And it's at a very nice bistro. I'm going to link everything below. Um, so everybody just gets together, drink something, eat something, knit, crochet, chat and chat and chat at the Stukmark. So I will, by the way, be attending if everything goes well, the Stukmark next weekend as well and then oh, yes oh, okay. this is also something that i am super excited about karua moon is coming to visit Gauteng this week starting on the 28th they are going to be at moon and sun in Johannesburg, Craig Hall Park. So that's on the 28th of July. There's going to be a pop-up shop of Karua Moon. On the 29th of July, in Pretoria at Bloss Cafe. And then, the last day, the 30th of July, the Karua Moon pop-up shop is going to be at the Yarn Tree. So, let me tell you guys what's on my agenda Starting this week, Thursday. So, Thursday evening is um, Mincy's Zoom Zoom night that I'm hoping I can attend. Then, next Saturday, I am going to do almost like a small yarn crawl, it feels like. So, I want to go first early in the morning to Johannesburg to the yarn tree for two reasons. I haven't been to the yarn tree yet and I need some tools. So I'm thinking, let me just get it there. And Karua Moon has the pop-up shop, which I also have, haven't um, had an opportunity to see yet. So those are the two reasons for that. And then once I'm done there, I'm going to go to Pretoria, to the Stukmark, so I can spend some time there. Uh, yeah. And then <laughs> it's Sunday. The 31st 
besides a normal podcast that I will be recording, it's the last Sunday of the month, meaning it's Scrappy Sunday time. So Scrappy Sunday is something that myself and Mariette from the Boerfrau started, I think, five months ago. If I'm not mistaken, this is already going to be our sixth um, installment of Scrappy Sunday live chat. And this time we're having another guest and it's Gertreida from Itzy Klein. So I talk about Gertreida every single podcast episode, whether it's a project bag or a stitch marker, progress keeper, cutter. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan. So I'm very much looking forward to having her on our Scrappy Sunday chat. Just please note that it's not going to be on the normal 5 o'clock time slot. It's going to be 4 o'clock Sunday, the 31st of July. But we will start advertising um, throughout this week so that you guys can get frequent reminders for next week's Sunday. And yeah, I just quickly want to mention that yesterday Hilda Stein's Slow Life Creation podcast episode came out and this time she actually had an interview with Mincy from Naughty Habit which was very interesting so I would highly recommend please go and watch Hilda's latest episode and yeah oops I just kicked <laughs> the camera okay so yeah um, that's about it from me this week I hope that this week that's coming, I'll have some more time for crafting. Fingers crossed. My wish to all of you is to have a lovely week and a lovely rest of your Sunday. And may you be productive and have lots of time for crafting and having fun. And then I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.